Hi guys. Um, yeah, apart from fishing, my other passion in life is motorcycling. Now I'm going to make a video blog of the creation of a bike. Um, I've got a couple of bikes that I'm going to chop up and make a good one out of the pair of them. Um, might be boring, might be interesting, but for anyone doing similar projects, uh, it might be of some interest and hopefully some help. So uh, this is part one of Project Walk. I am building a Chonda WW1. Chinese! Oh, Japanese! Oh! But what really is the difference? I think to get a better understanding you need to look at their motorcycles. Stripping down a Japanese motorcycle, every nut and bolt and fastening and fixture I've taken off is completely serviceable and reusable. When I strip the Chinese frame, or bike down to a frame, I've thrown everything in the bin. Everything. It is shit. Every component. But when it was <coughs> wholly together, the Chinese bike was actually very pretty. It just needs some Japanese input. So we're putting all the gubbins, the engine, the loom, all the bits from the Japanese bike into the Chinese one. Right, to work on the Chinese bike. Um, if you haven't got safety goggles, don't worry, just squint. Oh, it's the same thing. So far taking the Chinese bike apart has been really just chop 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 suey with an angle grinder and beating bits off with a lump hammer. Uh, not very pretty engineering but uh, it's Chinese. Cleaning up the uh, the engine, the Japanese engine. Uh, these little wire brushes, where have we gone? Where's the camera gone? These, excellent. Cheap as chips. You can buy Dremel ones for a couple, three, four quid each. I bought a whole bag of 45 different, there's three types and 15 of each. Six quid, including delivery. Guess where from? Oh! But they're perfect for this job because they're a disposable wire brush for cleaning the engine. I'm not going to paint the engine, I just want it clean to handle when we're putting it in and out of the frame. Well that's about it for part one. Um, it's very nearly Christmas so I'll, I'll get a few bits done over the Christmas period but not an awful lot I don't imagine. I don't intend to have the bike on the road much before kind of Easter 2021 anyway, um, but I will keep you up to speed with how, how it's going um, and in the meantime enjoy your Christmas break and as they say in Japan Merry Karishimasu and as they say in China Shung Ding Ti Aguila why don't they just say Merry Christmas? And as for me, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New World Order. Be safe, guys. See you in the new year. <laughs>